Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my Project Pan update. So a few months ago, I introduced you guys to Project Panning and how I planned on doing a Project Pan to see, to pick out products that I wanted to use and finish up by December or like hit, hit pan or something on those items. So I'm here with an update. Y'all know I have not been updating and I can honestly say I haven't completed anything since my last update. So if you're not interested in seeing where I am because I haven't finished, then yeah, that's an update. But um, if you do want to stay and see what progress I made since the, my last update, then stay tuned. All right, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the first thing that I'm just trying to get out of my way because it gets on my nerves. And that's this CoverGirl powder in Translucent Honey. It's a loose powder. Um, I will have to do a close-up of this. You see the first two marks are where I was originally and here is the blue mark of where I am now. I have been trying my best to use this up. I see that I have two months left so I'm definitely not going to finish this powder at all um, which is annoying because I just want to get it out of my sight. But um, yeah that's an update. I feel like I made pretty good progress because this powder is like really hard to use up. The reason why I hate it so much is because it's so messy and I have a cracked lid. So I might end up giving up and throwing it out. I don't know yet. A next face product is this uh, Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. The pink is my last update, I believe. And this is where I am now where the blue mark is. So I feel like I'm there. Um, I may have like maybe four more uses out of this. I'm not sure. It's like whenever I put it, so much comes out. I'm just like, how much is in this freaking bottle? But it's because it's like facing down. So I don't know. But it feels very empty. And I feel like it's all down here. So I should have this finished by my next update. And it will be finished before the month is over. I definitely believe I was working hard on it this week. Because I wore makeup like four times of my five day work week. And I'm wearing it today. So yay me. Because y'all know I don't really wear makeup during the work week. Because half the time I don't have time. And then I just feel like... My skin looks great, so I don't want to wear makeup sometimes. So, yeah, that's where I am with this product. Um, yeah. All right, next, we have this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Y'all really can't see, but the water is, like, all the way down here. I did use a line for blue. I'll do a close-up of this as well because I have pink lines as well. Oh, they're on this side. You probably can't see them, though. I'll do a close-up. But I'm literally all the way at the bottom right here. So this will be used up by like two more days. <laughs> so this will be in my empties that I will be doing pretty soon. So this will be in my empties as a little hint or preview of what my empties will be. Alright, next we have this Victoria's Secret uh, eyeshadow in 24K. It's a, shim a shimmer shadow. This is so pretty. I'm going to swatch it like I haven't showed y'all before. But just trying to use it up. I do have it in my inner my inner eye my inner eye and that's pretty much all i've been wearing i haven't i've never worn it fully on my lid i'm definitely my goal was to hit pan on this because it's so much shadow but i don't know so i'm gonna keep using it i'm definitely gonna go hard this month and next month i just can't see myself wearing a gold shimmery lid every single day and then it's like too much for a highlight. So I really don't know what to do with it. If you guys have any suggestions, then let me know. All right. Another thing that I just wanted to hit pan on is this e.l.f. Uh, blush and Blushing Rose. This was like one of my first uh, dark blushes. And it's just so pretty. I'm wearing it today. And I've been wearing it for a while. This is what the blush looks like. It's perfect for the fall. And... I see the indentation going in like I'm going to hit pan but I'm just like where's the pan where's the pan and then this blush is so pigmented you can't really uh, pack it on like that so or you're going to be walking around looking crazy but yeah this is it I love it I really don't mind using it I just don't like using the same things every single day I'm the type of person who gets very bored. So yeah, next is this uh, bronzer in Princess by Wet n Wild. I'm so sick of this bronzer. It will not go away. Uh, this is it right here. It is pretty much gone, y'all. All I have is this top part up here. So what I've been doing is I've been taking my blending brush 
and like getting in there and putting that in my crease of my eye which I'm wearing today and I feel like it's so pretty especially for fall the color of this to wear this in your crease like a bronzy shade it's just so pretty I also try to use it as like a contour it doesn't really match well with my skin as a contour but that's what I've been doing to use this up and yeah but I, I do like this I don't think I'll purchase it again just because I'm so annoyed with it and it lasts forever literally so yeah um I can't wait to finish this my goal is to finish it by my next update which is next month so we shall see All right, another thing that I forgot in my last update which was the main thing was my eyeshadow palette that I'm trying to pan can y'all believe I forgot it and it's the little black beauty book and this is by elf this was like five dollars it came out in one of their holiday collections so they may have it again this year I don't know but I really loved this eyeshadow palette when I first got it so I forgot all about it and then at the beginning of the year or like March whenever I started this project pan I was just like I need to try to hit pan on five of these shadows because I used to love it and then I stopped using it so here's an update I, I will insert a picture of what it was when I er, my I last updated you guys on this shadow palette. You guys know I completely finished this one a long time ago. This is going to be next and this brown is what I'm wearing. I like to wear this in my outer like V and kind of put it in my crease and this is such a pretty brown for fall especially so I'm definitely going to have this finished by next update. Something that I've been using in my crease is this one right here. I'm just going to have to give you guys a close up of this. This shade is perfect for the crease so this will be the next to go. I love this on my lid which is also perfect for fall. It's like a shimmery orange shade. Gorgeous. So I have one completely finished. I will finish this brown. That's two. This one that's three. Possibly this is that's four and I just need one more. Over here I have this one kind of showing pan and this is like a pink pinkish shade. I'm wearing this on my lid today and it's just very nude and neutral so it's easy to use and I'm also uh, you can see a little pan in this one but I won't finish that in time. So yeah I feel like I'm making great progress on this eyeshadow palette. The shadows are a little bit uh, chalky and old now. They're kind of older, so they're easy to use, in my opinion. And then the squares aren't that big, so I'll be so happy if I can finish five of the shades. And the progress that I've made, I feel like I will, so I'm excited about that. Alright, so now I'm going to do an update on all the lip products that I was trying to pin. I'm only going to show you a few because I haven't even touched some of the other ones that I um, am trying to pin and finish. This one is one that I haven't really used, so it's the same thing. This is the Milani shade in Teddy Bear, and y'all know I love this. I just haven't used it. Just watching it, finding a way to use it right now. So it's such a pretty color. It's going to be perfect for fall right now. It's like a darker nude, so I love it. And that I haven't used, and I'm probably not going to finish and complete by Project Pan, which I know I'm not. It's this L'Oreal lipstick, and this is in the shade Fearless Fuchsia. I used to be in love with this lipstick, but I just was not motivated to use this at all. So I'm not even going to update y'all on this anymore because I feel like I'm never going to use it. Look how bright it is. It's fall now and I'm just not into wearing these super bright colors during the fall. Let alone me. I wasn't interested in wearing it in the, this summer either. So and one that I'm wearing today is Nude Beige and I did make progress on this one. Um, here's the little lines. This is where I am now. It moved down just a little bit. I felt like it should have moved down way more because I've been using it like crazy, but it really didn't. So I'm going to show you guys this. It's just the perfect everyday nude. Like I said, this is like my favorite color and I wish it was in a matte shade, but I kind of, I kind of been feeling the glossy look as well. So that's cool. And that's it right here. And this is by the brand Kiss New York. If y'all don't know, they sell these lipsticks in the um, beauty supply store and they are really good. Last lip product, which I have also made progress on and I've been using like crazy, is this uh, L'Oreal lipstick and this is in Plumped Pink. I love this. Um, this is where I, this is what I feel like I have left. I, it's kind of hard to tell because you have to push all the gloss down to the bottom and when I push it down to the bottom... I feel like it's like right here where the blue line is so 
yeah so um i definitely should have this finished by my next update as well so i should have quite a few things finished by november my november update so i'm a little excited in my progress you guys let me know what you think down below but that was all the products i made sure i didn't forget anything this time um yeah so that's pretty much it I will end up doing close-ups and this is my face today. I did use a lot of Project Pen. All the shadows on my eyes are the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and I just love it. And my lips is that lipstick. That is it for my Project Pan update. Um, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And let me know if you guys are excited to start a new Project Pan at the beginning, the beginning of the year. I know I am. I'm just tired of these products and I just want to introduce new products. And I also wanted to try to incorporate like, I think it's called roulette. Like they do different games or whatever to try to use up something by like certain holidays. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you guys will be interested in seeing something like that. I would do it personally myself, but I don't know if you guys want me to share on my channel. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch more videos from me, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.